Man, we've been going in the penitentiary, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, um, I've been going with Boston. I seen Man's that. Poster. Yeah, they call this Darrington unit. They call it Chocolate City. You know, everybody in the system, I always wanted to come to this unit. I loved it, bro. You remember I hit you up? so Because you know that's... Man, Bruce come on, man. Something. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk... You know, they, they locked my boy up. You know, me and... Hot boy, boy you know, they, they, they gave him some. They gave him 15, 15 years. years. A Waco rapper has been sentenced to 15 years in prison on multiple felony counts. That and he was on that on that video. I was like, man, yeah, man. And I'm watching for you. Just the research. He popped up. I was like, dang. I just said post something about it. I, I just that was whole heartbreaking. Yeah, <laughs> because my thing is, man. I, it seemed like the. The new young rappers go to jail way more than we do. Yeah, yeah, we went. Yeah, yeah. We ain't go to jail that no, 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 no. But the, well, you know why? Because the temptations and everything is much, much more different. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, I call the phone the TV. That TV, well, you turn that TV on, that TV rolling, and that TV got so much false hope. Yeah. So many, Influence. so many, so many false influences that it's doing, and it's so like. Some of the, th hey man, it it them have you have the fuck it attitude real uh -huh, fast. Uh -huh. And what I mean by that, you know you shouldn't be smoking on this paper. You know you shouldn't be doing this here. You know you gotta put that pistol up. It just have you with so much, you know, false energy about yourself. So I hated that form because, you know, man, 15 here is 15 here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's crazy. Serious. It's you know serious because so, you gonna, Does you he gonna have to do bring the full 15? It. Nah, yeah, but, nah, but it's gonna get up there. It's, it's half, you know, you know, he can't see parole to half. Half think, is know, gone, yeah. And then he got a. He already had a record before that, so they and he at did all time that. before. Yeah. Oh, he said it on here. He yeah. at the time thing. He he said he did tw he twenty seven. He did eleven years. He, what I didn't understand is you said that you from eleven years old all the way till almost. I've been with about, the shit. I've been with the shit for mean, probation now, to parole. Lie. How the hell? How the hell you go from probation to parole seven years all your life? Like, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. The system really saved me now. Don't get it twisted like a nigga just ain't really with the shit. I didn't did 11 years. I'm 26. You know what That's I'm saying? crazy. I didn't did damn near 11 years. Like, for shit show. Like, yeah, 11 years. I'm The, the penitentiary saved us. 27 years old. Oh, my God. He already did 11. So we've he, been going, and we've been going in the penitentiary, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, um, I've been going with I Boston. i seen Man that. Poster. Yeah, they call this Darrington unit. They call it Chocolate City. You know, everybody in the system, I always wanted to come to this unit. I loved it, bro. You remember I hit you up? Because so, you know that's... Man, Bruce come on, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> come on, man. How was that when you went in there? What? Man, listen, you... And, you hey, rapped, you rapped in that thing. Listen. I'm giving classes. My foot on their neck. No giving passes. You niggas out here really is hoes. Go do your lashes. Y'all don't yeah. understand. I'll be a guest in here. <laughs> Boss man, Bruce is demanded here, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm along for the ride. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, but for real, what it get? What I get out of it is, um, I always tell him about it. I, I get a great gent because, man, when you growing up and you in this game and you rapping, even in the streets. The guys be out of sight, out of mind. Mm -hmm. A lot of time, you know, you gotta either be from that life to understand. You gotta either been down there, and sometimes if you ain't been down there from that life, you don't got to understand. They'll be out of sight, out of mind. So for me, getting to go back in, touch, hug, and feel, I feel so good, man, because of all the times that I missed, that I didn't get to really be little Kiki or touch back or give back to them. Like, I've always sent $50 down. Oh, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. But I'm saying me actually getting to get in there and get in That's a great thing. And, man, listen, man, I'm going to tell people now, right, Brewster is not in here on that trucking. That, that's, that, if we had to put a pie up, the trucking is only 10% of what we talk, he talking about in there. Till I see the blizzard. That reform and getting yourself prepared while you in here to get ready to go. Hey, man, he's very articulate and, th and so it's, it's a very delightful thing for me to be able to go see. I'm on, I, I love I, it. No, because, okay, so with the reform, the part that I was always wondering, because you know how I've always heard that when guys are in there, they talk big about, okay, when I come out, I'm going to change, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, whatever. How much do y'all follow up with th those people to, to make sure that they be? Because sometimes the temptation is hard when they come back out. They just go back to doing whatever they do. They used to do. The percentage of it ain't great. You know, like that's in anything. You know what I'm saying? That's in anything. But you know what I tell what I tell Brewster? Um, I told him this. I was like, man, you know what? The job I already done. He saved himself. 
Mm-hmm. Anything after that is a plus. Mm-hmm. If one person get their CDL, if they turn the wheel on the truck, went down the thing, if they paid their probe, any, any of that is a plus because the first example is himself. Right. Coming out changing his whole particular life based on he used to be. That's why when they doing these truck arguments and all that, I be telling her, I don't know why y'all talking about he not ready to do the job done. He didn't say he was <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey, he wasn't in there thinking about coming out saving no 10, 15, 20, 25 people, man. You know what I'm saying? So you're right. It's a it's a it's a mindset. And I tell you, man, you have to want it. Like you you have to like I don't out of if I got 50 pot, if I got 20 partners that got out coming along like maybe 15 went back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just a it's a it's a revolving door but as things get better, I think we got a better chance at it now because the entrepreneurial game and the way you can live off, you know, your telephone and the 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 assets that you have to so many different things content. It's so many different ways, ways to, to make, make a money. living now. Right. Based on went back in the game you mm-hmm. only could Go work, work this somebody. way like this or go work for somebody. So I think that we're going to get more of them because the opportunity. Man, I've got guys that's coming home that's already getting on content shows and, and doing different things and writing books. And, you know, I think the game is much better. So just think about writing a book long time ago. And, Jay, you want to write a book. Now you want to write. You got all kinds of opportunities to publish that book and mm-hmm. put it on Instagram. So I think, man, it's, it, it'll, it'll be a lot more. The percentage will be better of the change based on what we had in life. How did you feel when you seen those guys? They, they face had to light up. You know, look, Kiki is in in, yeah. in the building. Uh, and that's go for the officers too, cause we dealing with a legend here today. This nigga is here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And listen, we we hit the road. We 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 going and we going in the trench. We all dying on death. We yeah. we, in, we on the wings. Yeah, and we, we yeah. Cut, you know, we, you know, we had the um, the G fives out. Yeah, <laughs> and they loved it. I know they yeah, loved yeah. it. Yeah, and listen, Man, you gotta t- realize that's that's big, bro. Let me tell you something. We went to one that had a, a lady warden. Mm. Listen what I tell you. We from the hood. When you hear the word warden, we think about a big old cowboy yeah, white yeah, man yeah, with yeah. some boots on <laughs> yeah, talking, you yeah, know. Yeah. You know, so to see this lady and to see her in control and these now, you know, gangsters gonna be gangsters. But man, she had the G fives out. She had yeah, man, big respect. So for me, man, that was great. What yeah, ethnicity was she? It. Black. Really? Black Hailing it. Hailing it. Wow. Yeah, I'm talking about Black is me. <laughs> <laughs> Black is me. <laughs> beautiful, man. It was beautiful thing. I was like, whoa. Because, you know, man, you growing up, man, you thinking about a uh, warden. Hey, man, this is a man with a big old belt buckle. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, pink. Yeah. Big old hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That nigga, dip, he dip, he spit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So to see that. KK, and, um, who is KK? And we're talking that, man, listen, I'm busting raps all in the. In the I in seen the, that. In the, in the, we was at the church. Okay. <laughs> I seen you. I was like, man, they told me we at the church. I'm like, man, Did I they tell you me. not to rap? No, nah, they wanted me to rap. Mm. They wanted you to go on there and you acapella that thing. Man, let me tell you something. Bruce and them be messing over me. I be going to go watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna get a rap out of me every time I come up in there. You know what I'm saying? So, but I, I really, man, I come out of, and you know what feels most great? I don't want a dollar. Mm-hmm. That's real. That's real. I don't want nothing. No, that's real. <laughs> Not a thing. This that blessing right there. You can't pay me for it. So it's mm. great. Was there a touching story or a touching um, situation that you came across when you were in there? Lots of them. Yeah. Give me one example. Hey man, these are the touching stories when 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 they telling you. When you when they telling you they didn't did thirty five on a forty, when they telling you I'm forty I'm forty eight I've been here since I'm sixteen yeah mm. yeah yeah that, that, that's, that's touching the, that's touching, touching enough. enough. Hey man, we had one. I can't. I may got the numbers a little confused, but a number like that, like a hey man, I got a forty, and I've been in here thirty five on it. Numbers like that, so yeah, you know it's, yeah. it's it's real, man. And, and, and what that shows the test, man. You can get lost in that. Yeah. And then let me tell you something. We went in there, and got on the radio, touched the whole every prisoner. Hey, man. We listen. I keep telling y'all, Bruce to the man. He got you in there. <laughs> you in there walking around? There. Yeah, we went in the when. So it was. It, it, I've had a cup. And let me tell. You, I will tell you what's crazy. This. Let me show you the irony. The first time I ever visit somebody in the penitentiary in my life scared shit out of me. You know what I'm saying? I went to, I thought they were going to keep me in there. I've been, I've been so bad all my life. So I'm like, boy, what I get it? They're going to keep me from some old. <laughs> so it was going, it was the Polanski unit. Yeah. That's the first time I want to see one of my homeboys. He got life. 
And um, I went and seen him. This was years, years ago. And my first time ever going back was to the same unit. Wow. With Brewster. When I, when I, when I, when I, it was the, the, the only two times I had ever been to, the, to a prison was boom. Yes. And then years later, again, and this time I was, oh, wait, let me tell you, I was in the prison. And one of my homeboys that been in there about 17 years popped out of there from my neighborhood. I'm talking about went through hell, didn't care, was about to get himself in. What'd he say? We hugged for about 20 minutes. Oh, minutes. man, that's beautiful. <laughs> Bruh, this was crazy. You didn't know he was there at that time? I didn't know he was there at all. He knew you was coming, man. He man, was listen, happy to see you. When they, what? Boy. <laughs> when they told me what he went through to get over there, he told me, man, whatever, I don't care what kind of lockup it was going to be today. <laughs> And, and so those experiences is crazy, man, yeah. man. That's and like I said, man, Kiki, man, you you, you can't ever. That's something you can't take a, take away, uh -uh. man. That's something that is is priceless, really priceless, bro. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.